Would you like to help me draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of fluorine? Note the proper spelling here. Well, fluorine's element symbol is F, which has an atomic number 9, and the average atomic mass is about 19. I know it's 18.99, but that's an average. We're going to say 19, okay? The atomic number 9 is the same as the number of protons. So give yourself 9 protons in the center of your atom. And the number of neutrons is the same as the mass number minus the atomic number. 19 minus 9 leaves us with 10 neutrons. I'm going to write my 10 neutrons here in the center because protons and neutrons are what you find in the nucleus of an atom. Now, because it's a neutral fluorine, they didn't tell us it was fluoride or that there was any ion charge. We can just assume it's the same number as the number of protons. I need 9 of them. The first shell can hold two, so give myself the first shell, one, two electrons. I need seven more, and the second shell can hold up to eight, so I'm only going to need one more shell here. One, two, three, four. Please note that I spread out my singles before I double them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons which gives me nine in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, same as the number of protons, which means I'm right. That was pretty straightforward. Just remember, the first shell can hold two, next shell can hold up to eight. The shell after that can generally hold up to eight, as long as you're not going past calcium. Some convoluted rules about that. But as long as you top out at 20 protons for calcium, these rules are gonna do you. So, hey, best of luck.